What do you know about the big chair? The you know? big chair? Big chair, no. Big chair. Well, how's the fishing like in Gene Ganslick Creek? You ever Never been to know. Gene Ganslick Creek? Mm -hmm. What can you tell me about the, the Smithville Flats? Oh. Hey, yo, what's good? It's your boy Prince. You're watching Cook It Up. I got this really crazy episode for you today. I don't know how it's going to go down. I'm actually about to go on my way to go meet a guy by the name of Fisherman's Life at the farmer's market. We haven't set this up or anything, so he is what inspired me to get into YouTubing as well. I've got some questions I want to ask him, but I don't know if he's willing to do it on camera. And hopefully he'll be open to a, a quick, like, little five-minute interview. Just want to see what, what kind of answers he gives. Hey, yo, what's good? It's your boy Prince. You're watching Cook It Up, and I'm with the one, the only, the legend, local legend from San Francisco, Fisherman's Life. And I've been watching this channel for at least two, three years now, and it's a pleasure to meet you. And thank you for taking time. I hope I'm not intruding. And I just want to ask you some questions. Hopefully they're fun questions. If you don't like them, just say pass. Go ahead. You're a San Francisco native. Yeah, yep. What's the biggest change you've seen last in the city in the last 20 years? I feel like more people. More people in general. People? Yeah, because sure, sure. I lived in Sunset my whole life, pretty much. Yeah. Um, but yeah, more people, more coffee shops around. And I think that translates to fishing also. If you left San Francisco and you came back, uh -huh. there's one restaurant that you want, that you have to go to. What's that restaurant? In San Francisco. Yeah. Had, like the first place I would go to. Probably like a like a Vietnamese pho place. Like, Ooh. Yeah. You ever tell uh, TJ and Jan they need to drop more videos? Uh, yeah, they, it's just hard for them because, you know, they focus so much on fishing and when the filming comes, it's just, it's, it's either you got to right? focus on one or focus on the other. I learned that the hard way. I lost my first Northern Pike on the Canada trip because I was messing around oh, with the cameras. Oh, yeah, that's happened to me a lot. It was a huge disappointment. Oh, no! hey! I was there for a week, so I took the first two or three days just to focus purely on fishing. And that way I could multitask and figure out what yeah, I Yeah, that's a good way to do it. The guys that I went with were 20, 30 plus years in the fishing. Uh -huh. and they're probably just laughing at me, yeah. trying to like. They're mess probably like, around. "What is this guy doing with the cameras? Like, yeah. focus on fishing." Yeah. But I, yeah. But then again, they probably don't get it. Like, you know, yeah. like you want to get the yeah. angle, you want to get the shot, you want to get it on camera and show everybody. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm kind of the same. Fun fact: Me and Philosophy D have the same barber. Oh. Anthony, shout out to Anthony. <laughs> You've known PhD for like your whole life, for high school. High school, yeah. Was that a coincidence? Like his whole name and his philosophy and, and D. him getting his PhD and all that is, or was that premeditated? Like, did he plan that? Oh, I got to spill the beans on Daniel. No, no, uh, no, no, you don't want to put no, no. That. He was on his way to getting his PhD, and then I think he was. It was a long, you know, getting your PhD is a yeah, long process. Yeah, yeah. So, I think he was a year into it or a couple years into it. Yeah. And then he's trying to think of the channel name, yeah. and then just came up PhD yeah. philosophy D. I watched his last video. And it oh, was, yeah. it's about fishing metrics and right. going out. And, yeah, and that was a great out. video. That was an amazing video, and I feel like he's final form PhD. This is what he set out to do. Yeah, I feel like he's about to go Super Saiyan. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's got his PhD now, so he probably doesn't have as much time to fish. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. But yeah, totally. Whatever video he puts out is going to be quality. Did he always have his muscles? He's always been into working out and fitness for sure. If you were to go out, and it's almost like uh, like blackjack rules. You know, like, you know, like, and this is just an example, I don't know for sure, like a vermilion might bite on an orange uh -huh. color or something right, like right, that. Right, right, right. Would you play by the book or would you go by instinct still? Like, would you still? If I knew all the data, like he had tens of thousands of fish caught yeah. and it said that the ver a diamond jig or some jig works better than bait for link cod, I would use a jig. Right, you know? right, right. Yeah. So you, so you, unless, I don't know, unless there's a certain spot where I've known to catch a lot of lingcod on bait, then I would go with the bait. But yeah, going yeah. just just if I didn't know anything, I would go with the data. Yeah, and those those MPs are crazy. Like it yeah. looked like every drop he was picking something up and like Yeah. Like yeah. that's and how, the, is that how it's supposed to be? Like Right, yeah. Imagine how it used to be yeah. fifty years ago. Yeah. And like in Alaska they only have like a two rockfish limit and over here we have ten. And right, then right, a lot right. of the times the rockfish don't okay. even move more than two miles away from where, yeah. where you catch them. Yeah, for so sure. So it's kind of, I don't know, it makes me think twice about 10 fish limit for yeah. rockfish. And when I went, on, went to Canada, I had to find on bush plane, like on a boat plane. Oh, wow, that's a awesome. Remote lake, uh -huh. like it's untouched too. So it felt like I was in one of those MPAs or something like that. Like, like that's oh, how you got yeah. the opportunity to right. catch those yeah. monster trophy pike northerns. Oh, yeah. So yeah, like 40, we were hitting, trying to get the 40 inches. Andrew, how much was that citation? Uh, when we got stuck on a cliff and we yeah. ha got cited for causing a hazardous condition, that was, I think, like 270 bucks. 270 bucks, yeah, that was about then, 10 was years ago. That was a little yeah. more, yeah. 
Did he poop his pants when you guys got rolled up on by the Mexican cops? Uh, no, okay, no, good. but uh, good. <laughs> yeah, you should ask him about pooping his pants for another uh, if you ever see him. <laughs> Sorry, Andrew. Your buddy Will Kent. Yeah, yeah. Does he know how lucky he is? Was that his first trip out on the rocks? Yeah, it was. Yeah, I've known him since middle school, since sixth grade. That and guy. You know, I've been targeting those species for the last three years since I've started watching your videos. Right. And he's checked off basically everything. Yeah, he's box. got a lingcod, cabazon, black rockfish, blue rockfish. On the first on the freaking first trip. Day, like, yeah. that's not fair, man. Like, yeah, he got lucky. And then the next day he went on a boat, he caught a vermilion also. Oh my so, God. I don't think he knows. What do you know about the big chair? The you know? big chair? Big chair, no. Big chair. Well, how's the fishing like in Gene Ganslick Creek? You ever no, been to Gene no. Creek? What can you tell me about the, the Smithville Flats? Oh, yeah, that's where my dad's from. Gene Ganslick Creek runs through Oh, the, does it? Yeah, okay. and the biggest tourist, tourist attraction there is the big chair. Like, you go downtown, uh -huh. there's like the big chair. Oh, okay. Yeah, I forgot the names, but yeah, after college, I went on a road trip. I went from Texas, Florida, up to New York, and then I asked my dad where he was, where he was from. He said Smithville Flats, so yeah. drove through and found his old house. Yeah, yeah checking yeah. out your, your roots, basically. Right, yeah, yeah, um, that was cool. Have you ever been to Plentywood, Montana? Yeah, we went on a family trip there one time. It was like a city, a town of like 100 people. I yeah. think his graduating class in high school was six. Oh. What? Six? Six. Oh yeah. my god. Do you guys still run the farm out there? Or is it no. in. No, no, no. Uh, no more, no more no. family out there? No, no, no. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> well, that's all the questions I got for you, man. Thank right, you man. for taking time out of your day to of course, do this. Man. Of course. Uh, yeah, it's been a pleasure meeting you. This is a dream come true. You know? I appreciate <laughs> you, man. Thanks for coming out here. All right, man. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for watching. You're watching Cook It Up. All right, guys.